Hello everyone, hello peeps, welcome back to another video, today we're doing another maths video. We're going to be looking at some of the hard questions that came up literally a few hours ago in today's GCSE Maths Ed Excel paper 2024, June. So let's get straight into it here, we've got the first question that we're going to be looking at. It was a ratio question that a lot of people found hard, I didn't find it too bad in the exam, but let's see. There are two similar isosceles triangles, ABC and ABD. And AC to CD is a ratio, and that is 4 to 21. AB equals BC, as we know, so isosceles triangle. And we have AD is equal to BD. I've drawn the lines in on the diagram for you. And what we're going to try and find is the ratio AB to BD, which is this line here, like this one here, and the ratio compared to that one there. So let's get started by writing down what we know. So we know that AC and CD are in the ratio 4 to 21. So what I'm going to do is say that this length here and this length here, this here is going to be 4x because we we know it's a multiple of 4 but we don't know how big and this is going to be 21x and the total is going to be 25 x now the x is just to make it clear that these aren't like absolute values if not in that sense but it's not ac is four centimeters or whatever definitely it's four x so we don't know what it is exactly but we know the like how it's shared between the other line in comparison so since we know that this is 25 x i'm going to just quickly recap because we're not given a lot of information we're going to recap some similar shape stuff okay so we know that there has to be a scale factor for the smaller shape and the bigger shape to multiply because for example here we've got AC and we multiply it by a scale factor say K to get this length here not that length to get this length here so that's what our scale factor is but we don't know what that is so how are we going to find out this ratio so the method I use, I think other people did it differently. Please let me know what you did down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. We are going to look at the relationship between the two triangles using this line here. I've just put in red. Because that line is going to be the, I don't know what it's called, like the triangle terminology. The top bit of this isosceles triangle here, but then also the bottom of this one here, the big one. So, let's say we've got a scale factor of k, and let's say that this length here is going to be called n, why not? So we can say that 4x, I'm just going to write 4 because we're already dealing with another variable, we don't want to deal with x and n and k all in one. So we've got 4, right? And we're going to multiply it by our scale factor k, and that will give us this base baseline of the small of the small one. It should give us the baseline, which is this one here, drawn highlighted horribly, um, of the big one. So, and we've said that's going to be n, so we can say that 4k is going to equal n. Now let's work backwards. Just before we do, I'm going to remind all of you peeps that this length here that's parallel to the red one I'm just putting it next to it to make it easier that is going to be 25x because that is the same as this one this one here so we can say that 25 and here we're going to be dividing by our scale factor k that's going to give us the length the top length bit for the small isosceles triangle which is n because that's going to that's shared right because this is the side of the isosceles triangle with a small but it's also the base for the big one right and since we have two equations equal to n we can just equate them can't we so we can say that 4k equals 25 over k if we let me change my color if we multiply both sides by k to get it by itself we get 4k squared equals 25 divide by 4 and then we're gonna get k squared equals 
sorry, k squared equals 25 over 4. And if we square root it, we're going to get just 5 over 2. We don't have the negative because we're dealing with a scale factor and we can see that it's l clearly bigger, right? So we know what the scale factor is. So I'm just going to remind us what we're actually trying to find. We're trying to find a, b, a, b, 2, b, d. And I'm actually going to highlight these just so we don't forget what it is. So this, this one here is a, b, and this one here is b, d, like so. So we know that this is n, so we can say that a, b is n or some multiple of n, it doesn't really matter. And then how are we going to get from there to BD? So we know they're both the long sides of the isosceles triangles. So what we can do, we can just multiply n by the scale factor, which we know is 5 over 2. So it's going to end up with 5 over 2n. And obviously the n's just cancel out, so we can get 1, 2, 5 over 2. But this is a fraction, we don't really like that. So we just multiply both sides by 2 just to get rid of that fraction, and we end up with 2 to 5 as our final ratio for this question, which I believe is correct. Please let me know if it is. If it's not, then I'm going to have to redo this video, aren't I? That is the first question. Um, the next few hard questions that I'm going to go through are in the next few videos. So if you want to see those, then the links will be in the end cards and the outro. If not, then thank you for watching. If you haven't, please like the video, subscribe, share, comment, all the jazz that YouTube people like to say. And I'll see you next time in a previous video or whenever. Goodbye.